So today we have a 2006 Buick Lucerne and it has the 3800 V6 engine in it and the complaint is poor heat out of the heater on the passenger side. Now this is not a dual zone AC system. The temperature door is moving and there is only one temp door. So I suspect it's a heater core problem. Now it is running up to temperature. It's 92 Celsius right now. It's been running for about uh, half an hour in the shop. And we're gonna have a look at the outlet temperatures on the dash here. So by hand, by feel, this outlet temperature is quite warm and this one feels cool. Yet again, this is not a dual zone AC system. Just looking at the temperatures with a thermal camera here, we got a hundred and, I just turned it on vent, we got 107, 108 degrees out of the left side. Wait for this to calibrate again. And around 80 degrees out of the right side. So I suspect the heater core is partially restricted. Let's see what that one, that one's a little warmer, 73 on that side. And let's try this one over here. 117. So there is a distinct difference between the passenger side and the driver's side. So we're going to have a look at the heater hoses now. So those are the two heater hoses there. That one's running at about 170 degrees Fahrenheit and this one's running at about 180. So there's not a lot of difference between the two hoses. I don't know if you're going to be able to feel the difference. Well, they got a loom over them, so it's hard to tell. And the exhaust is down there, so we're picking up the exhaust heat. There's one hose right there, 174, and the other hose, 173. So there's not a lot of difference between the hose temperatures. But we're going to put some... Uh, CLR in the heater core and, and see if anything comes out. So I flushed the heater core with water from the top back and forth into this five gallon pail and not much came out. Uh, I blown air through it and blew all the coolant out or as much coolant out as would come out and now I poured CLR into the heater core and I'm going to let it sit for about an hour. Do something else. So here's my setup for flushing this thing. I've got the two heater hoses disconnected and I've got one going into a five gallon pail that's clean and white so I can see if anything comes out. And here's my water line coming from the shop water and I've got an air hose teed into it so that I can give it a little short bursts of air pressure. Now I've flushed it forward once, now I'm going to flush it through reverse with uh, water and of course flush the CLR out and hopefully we're going to get some sludge out of there and I'll be able to see it in the bottom of this white pail. The first time through there was a little bit of sediment but not as much as I hoped for. So here's what came out of the bottom of the cooler or out of the uh, heater core. considerable amount of sediment and sludge. It's like gravel in there. Wow. Hmm. Well, we'll run it and see if it improves the temperature out of the heater. It's not up to operating temperature yet, but it's a marked improvement in the heat. We've got 100, 103 on the left duct and 102 on the right duct, 102, 103. Even the far side over there is measuring, come on calibrate, 90, 92, and this one over here, 103. Definitely, definitely seems better. Gonna run it up to temperature.